Well, for more on that, I'm joined by Phil Robertson. He's the Deputy Director of the Asia Division of Human Rights Watch. Thank you very much for joining us on the programme today. Um, so what is likely to happen next? Will Aung San Suu Kyi end up going to prison, given that she's already on house arrest? Well, I think she will definitely go to prison. The question is, what sort of prison? Will it be a, a formal prison, or will she be left in house arrest in some uh, house in some remote corner of the capital, Napida? Uh, we simply don't know where she's going to be sent. But I think that it's quite clear that this will be the first of many sentences that she's going to receive, because uh, the military junta in Myanmar is really piling it on her. Uh, there's multiple charges, even more severe than these ones, uh, which are, have been brought against her and which she's being tried for. And I expect that it's going to be the same kind of outcome, that, you know, these are politically motivated trials uh, in front of a compromised lapdog judiciary that does what the military wants, and they are going to sentence her to many years in prison. What, are, what sort of uh, charges uh, is she looking at, then, the other charges you mentioned? Oh, she's got uh, other charges regarding uh, incitement. She's got other charges regarding uh, other sort of so-called political crimes. There's election fraud. There's corruption. Uh, there's a whole slew of things that are being brought against her uh, that I think will, you know, are really determined to... Uh, keep her in detention for the rest of her life. I mean, they do not want her uh, free to challenge them politically, and they're using the court system to, to put her away indefinitely. So this is effectively the end of, or could be effectively the end of Aung San Suu Kyi's political career. And, of course, what does this mean for the democracy movement in Myanmar? Well, this is really going to be up to the Myanmar people. I think the Myanmar people are going to be quite angry about this. Uh, it will redouble, they will redouble their efforts. Uh, the resistance will become even uh, more determined uh, because they see her as their legitimately elected leader. And, you know, she did win uh, the November 2020 election along with the National League for Democracy that she leads. There's no doubt about that. Uh, so, uh, you know, her political fate is really going to be now tied very closely to the fate of the uh, protesters in the streets and their movement uh, to get rid of the military. What have we heard so far from the international community about uh, the sentence, and what can they do? Well, the international community will certainly bring out many statements of uh, denunciation, uh, calling this a political trial, calling this a kangaroo court saying all the things that are absolutely correct in terms of, you know, a judicial system and a political system that, frankly, doesn't function, uh, that is under the thumb of the military. Uh, but what they need to do uh, is they need to impose a, impose a global arms embargo. They need to sanction oil and gas revenues and other revenues that are really critical for the junta to continue to operate. And they need to put uh, pressure on the UN Security Council to refer the situation in Myanmar to the International Criminal Court, because crimes against humanity are being committed against the people day in, day out in Myanmar, and it's time for action.